Welcome back to the second half hour of 11 News at 4. I'm Adam Atchison. New today, several downtown Colorado Springs businesses are now looking for new locations after fire damaged a building that stretches over an entire downtown block. You may remember this video from back in December when the fire broke out between Cascade and Tejon. 11 News reporter Elmer Mejia Sagastume is live from Bijou Street right outside some of those businesses. And Elmer, you spoke with the property manager. Uh, why are they saying that these businesses are going to either have to move out or, or hang on for a while? Wow. Adam, they told me the reason why they terminated the contracts is because reconstructing the building could take up to two years. Those contract crews told me real estate, this kind of job could cost a lot of money as well. The property manager offered the affected businesses the option to break their lease without any repercussions. Or they could wait until the construction crews finish reconstructing the building and renegotiate their lease when it's done. I spoke with Jacob Silva, the manager of Into the Grave Tattoo on Bijou Street, which is the same building but not affected by the fire because of a brick wall. Silva told me they can stay until November, but his lease won't be renewed. Yeah, we'll have to relocate. And uh, it just takes a lot to relocate a tattoo shop because you can't just go into any building and start tattooing. You have to have the health department uh, come check it out multiple times before you even start building anything like that. So it's just a big headache for sure. Now I contacted the owner of Yo Bell, another business on this block on Bijou Street, uh, about what's next for them. Now, I did not receive an answer from her, but I also contacted the owner of Icons and they refused to, con to comment at this time. Live in Colorado Springs, Elmer Mejia Sastume, KKTV 11 News. Many of them likely planning their next steps. All right, Elmer, thank you. Let's now turn to No Way Weather back to Chief Meteorologist.